There goes the neighborhood. Huh? Nothing. It's going to be a hot one. Yeah, 95, I heard on the news. Pull over there. Edward also responding. Four out of an Edward. Number 16 units to uh, respond on and just before 8 speed up. Let's go. What's How about that one? Boosted? Maybe. 27 Squad, car 32 to Central, K. Car 32, go ahead, K. New Jersey, double I, I to Z, Zebra. What's that number? 769. 769, 1035, K. Well, if it's stolen, our guy's sitting right there waiting for us. You couldn't ask for anything better than that. Car 32, that's NJ11Z769, correct? That's correct. 27 Squad, that's a 1036, the line number 154 and Car 32 to Central 104. Okay, let's go. Stepping out of the car. But I knew this was no place to bed down. I just—I swear, in my eyes—I got to jumping around like the south end of a speckled pup. NYPD is brought to you by Ocean Spray, the people who mix apple juice with cranberry juice to make cran apple drink. Delicious Ocean Spray cran apple. Ocean Spray presents the cranberry in American song and legend. Hey, remember this? In the shade of the old cranberry tree. And how about the legend of Johnny Cranberry Seed, who went around planting cranberry trees all over America? Oh, and here's another oldie. The cranberry boy teacher will always do the trick. Wait a minute. You're mixing cranberries and apples. Sure we are. We're mixing two delicious fruit juices to make cran apple. <laughs> Funny name, cran apple, but it tells you what's in it. Sweet apple juice, cool and golden. Tangy cranberry juice, red and rousing. Mixed up together to make cran apple. Ocean spray cran apple drink. Please try a bottle. And remember now, a cranberry a day keeps the doctor away. Depriving your young friend of all that love. 
The Care and Feeding of the Common Aphids by Roseberry Hill. That's so. Hello. Hey, Bobby, what's up? What? Where? How's Corso? No, I'll tell them. Did you get the alarm on the wire? What about Murphy's wife? No, I'll do it. All right, I'll come right down. What happened, Mike? Shooting. Murphy's dead. Johnny Corso's in the hospital. Put a clean shirt in your case. Rosemary, you should know better by now. It's only when I see your face that... Maybe when it happens to you, maybe I won't be there to see you. So maybe I won't have to cry at all. Mike, when are you going to give it up? Give what up? You know what I mean. You mean all the killing and head knocking and thieving and dope shooting? And all the people who aren't nice to each other? Yes, that's right. That's what I mean. Rosemary, that's my job. Besides, I don't know where you go to give that up. No place I ever heard of. You used to think better of people. You're nice, Rosemary. Yeah. Yeah, Lieutenant Haynes here, 27 Detective Squad. I want to talk to the inspector. I'll give it a second thought. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. Well, I'm working on that. Yeah, I'll take care of that, too. Yeah, yeah, right away. Hey, Richie, what's going on? Murphy and Corso got shot up. Murph's the OA. Johnny? Looks like he's okay. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I know that, sir. I understand the ACI is coming up, also the chief of detectives. We will, sir. Thank you, sir, and don't worry. We'll get him. Did you want me, Lou? Yeah. I want you to follow through on that lab work. When ballistics is up with the cowl of the gun, get it to George right away. As soon as you get it, put a detail on all the gun shops and sporting goods stores in the city. The lab is still dusting that car. Get over there and see if they got anything we can use. Richie, get correspondents to check the state police in Trenton on everything they have about that stolen car. And I mean everything. Lieutenant, I want in on this. So does every other cop in the city. I'm not talking about every other cop in the city. I'm talking about me. Look, we're still running a detective school. And I believe catching in the neighborhood of 14,000 squeals a year. Now, I can't ignore that just because somebody got shot. We're all a little worked up. Well, that's all swell. Except if it wasn't for my sister's wedding, I'd have been on the chart last night with Corso instead of Benny. I'm on a slab now? You'll be nice to your sister. When the association gets around to putting up a reward, I'm in. Maybe all in a day's work to you, Lieutenant. But then that's your problem. Yeah. When the time comes, you can spend your money any way you want. There's someone to take Ward's duty. Come on, we go see Johnny. Thanks. Is there anything else you can tell us? He looked pretty tall, but I couldn't tell. He was sitting down. 5'11", maybe. Scars? I didn't see any. I think we got enough. Unless you can pin down the accent. Southwestern. Texas Panhandle, Oklahoma. It sounded like somewhere around there. And you didn't see the gun? <laughs> I'm telling you, I never saw anybody handle a gun like that. It's exactly like watching a movie. 
And right in the middle of it, I was the target. So fast. You wouldn't believe it. I believe it. All right, take it easy, Johnny. Don't worry, we'll get him. Lou, talk to Finney's wife? Yeah. How'd it go? Not so good. She can't think of any reason why she should be the brave little woman. Neither can I. You don't have too much to go on as far as the general appearance file is concerned. Well, let's check the M.O. file. Anything you say. Would you have anyone indexed who was unusually handy with a gun? If the report on him said he was heavily armed and dangerous, we'd file him that way, sure. Well, from what I hear about this guy, that'd be right up top. What do you say we see how the sketch is coming along? What I'd like to do is take one of your artists over to the hospital and show it to Detective Corso. He may be able to suggest some changes. Lieutenant? Yeah. How'd you make out? Well, the auto squad says the car was used in a bank stick-up in Trenton, New Jersey, two days ago. Single perpetrator. Says he got off for $28,000. As soon as your man is satisfied with the sketch, we'll get the photo unit to make up some copies for you. Let's go. I'd sure like to know how he got both of them. Hey, Jeff, what was it Johnny said? I told you what he said. He said he never saw anything like the way this guy uses a gun, right? He must really be checked out. All right, here's your man. Probably held up a bank a few days ago, which would mean he's got plenty of money, so don't neglect the class places. The uniform force will be on the streets, so get inside the bars and nightclubs. Chances are he's holed up. Sooner or later, he's got to come out. Morning to you, old stud. Mind if I use the bones a while? No, go ahead. <laughs> Snub's my name. Wall. Is that a fact? Don't tell me you're having trouble with your back, too. Yeah, a little. That's how I come I'm not at work. I got this sort of, like a knot right here. You can even feel it. I've been seeing if I can't maybe sort of work it out. You know, they do that at the hospital. How'd you like to do me a good turn, Walt boy? Help me play a little prank on some friends of mine? Well, I, I don't. Sure you do, Walt. It's just a harmless thing. It'd probably tickle you as much as anybody. What do you say, Walt? You want to have some fun, don't you? Yeah, I, I guess. I mean, I like a laugh as much as the next fellow, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's real good, Walt. So here's all you do. You just hustle on over to the closest police station, and you tell them Billy the Kid sent you. You? Yep. <laughs> Billy the Kid. That's right. And then you tell them I said, if they think John Dillinger was good, they don't know what good is. And then you tell them, I'll take on any cop that thinks he's fast. You reckon you can remember all that, Walt? <laughs> I told you it was going to be fun, didn't I? Yeah. Well, I don't know if... You see, I got this bad back. I'm trying to... Hey, man, Walt, that's real good. I knew you could do it. Yeah. Okay. I don't mind. I hope this is a good show. I hope you like it. You are the to charcoal. You are the to love. All that I have, I have a back You are the to charcoal. You are the to love. More than a million people like what Lark does. Inside the exclusive three-piece filter are specially treated charcoal granules. They make the big difference. Give Lark a taste all its own. Lark's filter is patented. You are to change.
You're on business, Lieutenant? I'm looking for somebody. He's not here now, but we understand he's been in. Who is he? I wish I knew. Here, take a look at this. It's not on the button, but we understand it's pretty close. Mm, and it is, too. It's bloody good. When did you see him last? He stood not an hour ago where you are yourself. You got any idea where he is now? I don't know. I don't suppose you know if he'll be back. Well, he's not a regular. He was the first one through the door this morning, but uh, I don't believe I laid eyes on him before that. The changed, Inspector. Yeah, he's been in here all right. I think we better concentrate on this area. Yes, sir. Keep an eye on the place and I'll call a squad. Yeah, right. If anybody tries to go in, you ought to tell them to stay outside for a while. 27 squad, car 32, 10-4. Suspect located at Hotel at Corner of Theta Avenue and 6th Street, K. 27 squad, car 32, 10-4. And it looks like they found him. Max, up the fire escape. Cover the roof. All right, here's what happens. I go in first, high. Jeff right behind me. Richie, stay in the door. Jake, take the shotgun, cover the hall. Any questions? Let's go. All right.
How about this? We'd have really had him. Jake, stay in the hallway. Watch everything. Look at this. Yeah. Would have really had him, huh? Man, oh, man. Look at this. Don't touch anything from the ballistics rocket, sir. One man army, that guy. Billy the Kid, remember? Lieutenant Haynes? Yeah. He's in the bar. We got a tip. He came in the station house for you, but you weren't there. Easy, easy. What bar? McSorley's. Hey, Bob Tender. Hey, get many cops around here. No. Not too many. Yeah, I didn't figure you did. Hey, would you believe when the wind's right? I can actually smell a cop nearly a good quarter mile off. I just sent out at 10.41, so we could tie up the other end of the block. You tell them to be quiet. Of course I did. You know how some of these jockeys are. Just have to hope for the best. Pull the hand. Get some men up on that roof there. How many men have you got with you? There's six of us. They ought to ventilate these things. There's a guy in here will give you all the ventilation you want. When you talk to the bartender, he said there were many customers in there? No, he didn't, but there are bound to be some. Well, if we just bust in, some of them liable to get shot. I remember this old boy I soldiered with one time in Japan. He could do it with girls. Klaus was his name. Could be asleep. And one of them pretty little Jap spinners walked by the barracks. His eyes would come open, sit up in bed. I'd do the same way with cops. You don't think that's a useful thing? <laughs> yeah, I hope to tell you it is. How do we get him out, Mike? That's a good question, Captain. We want him, but not at the cost of innocent people. Lieutenant, why don't I go in? You know, by myself. Just kind of walk in. I want to be able to get a gun on him before he can do anything. I mean, you can still go in and take him if it don't work. But I really think if, if I go in just like this, as far as he's concerned, I'm just another guy going in for a beer. I could walk right up to him. What do you think? He's your man, Lieutenant. Go ahead. Falling all over yourself, telling your friends and your neighbors how you were so close you could almost reach out and touch him. You know what I'm fixing to do? I'm gonna get me a place in Argentina. They tell me you can live real A1 down there for no money at all. If he makes me for a cop, I'm dead. Step on up, boy. Get some of that big city dust out your craw. Now, give me another one of them little beauties. You didn't see any cops out there before you come in, did you? I sure did. Put your hands behind your head. I'll blow your heart out. I'm gonna kill you.
We've seen what they've done. Uh, Yella is afraid to come in shooting. Uh, Yella. Let's take a walk. Huh? Uh, Yella. 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 Hey, man. Hey, wait, hey, wait here, man. Come on, let go of my arms. Come on, let go of my arms, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Please, let go. It's going up, man. It's going up, man. Come on. Come on. You have a headache. You've taken aspirin. How long do you wait for it to go to work? You should have taken bufferin. Bufferin can cut the waiting time in half. Half the time. That's bufferin time. Because in the first critical minutes, bufferin acts twice as fast as simple aspirin to speed more of its active pain reliever to your headache. Bufferin goes to work in half the time. Half the time. That's bufferin time. Score works great on a someday I'll be president hairstyle. Score works great on a gee, if I get a guitar in a group, who knows hairstyle. Score works great on a sure I swing, but dad might let me take over the business hairstyle. Score doesn't hold too good, just a little better than nothing at all. And you know, that ain't bad. NYPD. This is their show. These are their stories. Tough, exciting, real. New York, the way it is. I'm Jack Warden. Co-starring with me are Robert Hooks and Frank Converse. NYPD has been brought to you by... Score. It doesn't hold too good. And that's not bad. Clear score in a tube, liquid in a bottle.